Alright guys, let's do something to you today. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna apologize. There's construction, there's lawnmowers, but there goes the air compressor. What are you gonna do? Um, I don't know. A week or two ago, a young man from Scott, New York, and his family came up, and uh, somehow he got himself a bucket of railroad spikes out of my pile. And in exchange, they gave me a good length of cable and a couple of lawnmower blades because I've never, believe it or not, in three years, Chandler has never done anything with a lawnmower blade. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try. I asked him, you know, what do you want me to try to make out of it? And he said a kukri, which I've never done a kukri, which kukri doesn't scare me except for the grinding. I think you really want a nice 10 inch wheel or something like that for the grinding on that. But we don't know. And we're going to find out. So I got this lawnmower blade. I have no idea. <clears throat> it's a heavy blade. All right. It's definitely got uh, a lot of weight to it. I'm sitting here for a few seconds ago trying to figure out what am I going to do. Is there enough meat on this end to make the knife and then drop the tang and, and remove these? Is half of this enough for the blade? That's the question. And I think that's the approach we're going to take. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to nip off a piece of this like I always do with unknown steel. We're going to run through my test to see whether it quenches in, in uh, oil, water, if it hardens at all. What kind of material functionally am I working with in my mind from my limited knowledge so I won't take you along for the whole test but I'll be back with some results you think you know everything no just saying when you think you know something <laughs> you don't know shit all right so here's Chandler's normal test and, and I, I didn't show you I, I have several videos uh, testing uh, one in particular is is called um, the Heller file or something like that uh, forged in Heller file part one I go through a, an extensive test <clears throat> so I did my test, sliced off a piece, four is thin enough to, to break, quenched it in oil. <clears throat> First step for me. Go to the vise, I can't break this son of a gun. And then I'm in the vise with this on it, and I'm pulling and <laughs> I can't break the dang thing. Now with a file, it's not horrible, but it's not awesome either. So I'm a little bit perplexed as to whether, you know, where, where do I want to go? Is it titanium? Is it titanium more, uh, more but, uh I've never been in that situation before. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and forge a little thinner so that it, it definitely will break, break. But I've never had a piece of high carbon or mild or anything that I've worked that I've forged this thin either not bend or break. So... For a uh, kukri, you know, something that's meant to, to take some abuse, that this, may, this might be a, a decent blade to make. Uh, I'm going to forge it down, we'll see. Alrighty, back again. <clears throat> this time, forged down a little bit thinner and I was able to get it to break, but man, I put more force than I've ever put on a piece of steel. So I think, uh, hopefully, get some focus there maybe. Alright, that's right out of the quench. Jeez. Um, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what I'm dealing with. I think for what I'm working with uh, uh, at this point, oil quench is, is what I'm going to go with. Uh, it certainly took a harden to a point of a spring. So what does that mean? I'm ignorant, so I would have to do some research. Does that mean that it, it might want water? Uh, is it maybe air hardening? I mean, I've never really worked with air hardening. What I want to do next is uh, go ahead and put a temper on this. That give me the, the last part of the puzzle, and then we'll get back to work. Back again. I'm not sure if you can see in this light or not, but I put uh, blue to purple right in there. Gosh, I hope you can see it. I can't see it because the sun's in my eyes. All right. And uh, man, it's a strong, strong steel. It took a lot to bend it, but uh, it didn't break. So we would expect that. I, I, I think I'm comfortable with what I'm going to do with this steel. We're going to oil quench when we're done and uh, temper her down. I think we're going to end up with a really strong blade. Alright, never having worked with a uh, lawnmower blade, I have the foggiest idea what I'm going to do, but let's get this edge down first. Let's kind of get things consolidated. I certainly don't need it any thicker, that's for sure. But I'd like to have something relatively consistent here if I can. A lot of steel, I'll tell you that much. A lot of steel there. And again, what I'm going to try to do is get a full blade and maybe pull the tang off of there like that um, if I can and draw that out. But um, in order to do this, I need meat on the tip 
and I need it very thin, very thin down here into the blade. So I got all this material right here to get rid of. All right, let's see what we can do about getting some of this stuff going down here. I mean, at the end, I'm gonna have to stretch it out. tells you a lot, all right? Moving that steel, all I did was make it fatter. Right? There's no stretching going on yet at all. Let's give her a little more work. This is going to be the blade, main part of the blade is here, come in thin, and then into the handle. I'm okay with it, I think. <coughs> Moves hard. Hard with it. She'll go on this side. Trying to bring that spine back into alignment a little bit here. I think we're okay, I really do. I don't know for sure where to go with this yet, but we gotta get this to be my tang. I mean that's all there is to it. Work her out here a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I've committed the, the steel from here to here, it was plenty for the blade that I'm going to make. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this back part into the, the tang itself. It's going to be one hell of a knife, maybe the biggest knife I've made, short of the, sto the, the sword. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this with the angle grinder. I'm going to leave the holes and maybe work those into finger grooves of some sort. Cut this down. And, uh, and notch that piece out. I think that's what I'm going to do next. That's what I did. Cut that angle out and then just slid out this block. I left the rest down here for a little bit of a handful. Um, I'll tell you one thing. I probably should have hot cut that because that cut stinking hard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up just a little rough shape on this blade. All right? And then we'll flip her around and see what we got for, for a tang going on here. Boy, I wonder if that's air hardening. Does. Man, it's hard. Whatever it is, it's hard stuff for sure. 
let's see what we can do about just starting to work this down a little bit. point down, I'm not just hitting down on it, especially here on the end, I'm bringing it back, I'm upsetting it a little, so that we have room to let it all work out at the same time. Hitting back here a little bit now, because we got to get that fish mouth right there to all come together. I don't want to upset too much here, but I'm going to, just to bring that back a little bit. If you do a good job, you bring that out to a point. If not, you gotta leave a little sacrificial out there to grind off. But we're doing okay. I'm telling you. Wow. What I wanna do is be burning this point. While it starts getting thin, it's gonna take that heat a lot quicker. You gotta be careful of that. Because once you burn it, you change its structure. After you'll be crying, I bet you. I'm not hating it. I might have to go back and see what a Cooper looks like. I think we can bring that nose down a little bit. And that meets the point. If I remember right. I think so. Alrighty. They're getting there, getting there. Bang, a little less than half an hour. I think we can call this the last of the roughy end part. Again, I'm trying to put that curve on the back, especially when I start putting the bevel in, it's going to come back out anyway. But I believe for this knife we want that curve. hump in here I think back and then I gotta bring that hump in those are the next two moves. Just to check myself that's kind of what we're going for. And I'll give some advertising out to whoever that is too. And my cookery, cookery don't look like that cookery. <laughs> Let's keep at it here. Bring that hump down a little. tang out a little bit and I think I'll be able to nip that off when I'm done. I was going to quench this. I'm going to let it cool quite a bit before I turn around. I want to start using that side. I decided to commit to my uh, to my length of my blade so I cut off the rest of it. Something told me to leave this opposite side down there. Something told me to leave this nub on here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Alright, let's get that tang worked. What I want to do is I want to kind of open up. I probably made that too tight up these finger grooves a little bit. Again, I might be silly to try to use them, but they were there, right? 
so why not try to use them a little? This one bothered me because it's not where I'd like it to be. Oh, what the heck? Live and learn, right? little exercise. They just don't look like they're in the right spot. That's the thing that's kind of bothering me, but you never know until the fat lady sings. But somehow it means that your song is the last one. I don't know. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. How the hell am I going to grind those out? It's another thing to think about when you're working on something like this, you goof. How the hell are you going to grind those out? Actually, I probably will grind them in. But, uh... I don't know. It doesn't look horrible. The idea, anyway. That's cooker. Done. Catch you next time. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Got way too much handle back here. I need to make a plan for that, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Now let's just clean this up a little. So that I'm kind of happy with it up here. I'll go to the grinder anyway. straightened up a little bit as I can with what I have working with here. I'd like that to be pretty kind of straight down the back. I don't think I'm going to get it. A little bit of a bend in there. I think I'm looking in the right direction. These things look totally wrong. That's what I, that's what I got to work with. That's what we're going to use. Thinking on that end. Yeah. I have no idea why I left that thing on there. I don't know what to do with it. If something tells me I want to do something with it. I just don't know what. Gosh, I don't know what I want to do with it. here in the camera or not there's a bit of a nick here from that grinder which in order for me to not have a pressure point there I'm gonna have to forge it down to that thinness and then do something with it. What am I gonna do boy I'll tell you I don't know. It's gotta be something cool you can do let me think. Alright I've got nothing so what I'm gonna do is this. that it's nothing. But that's what it's going to be. I met somebody at a show who was really into... What the hell was it? I forgot the proper name now. Fiddleheads. A little fiddle head on the end. Sorry if you find that boring. Somebody might not. But it will, perhaps.
but that's my last part of my hand. Come up a little and then down. Just clean it up. Everything stays back, back there. So, it's your signature blade, Chandler. Whatever the hell I hammer. <laughs> is I hammer my signature blade. I'm not going to be happy I do that. But committed we are. What a tough guitar. Okay, let's stop fiddling around here. Yeah. Just got too hot on that. Don't bump. I might like it when we get down. I just might like it when we get down. Now if I put some texture in there, it could have been a lizard's tail. Couldn't have. If I had thought a hit like that. Get in there yet or not? I'll tell ya. Pretty close. Now, from the handle perspective, I think that's not bad at all. thing in the world but it is there all right so that's the end of my handle I'm okay with that I'm gonna clean this whole tang and handle up get her straight and come back and start putting this blade in get this thing cleaned up Let's see if we can do this one-handed see if we can save us a little grinding time Still not. Oh, now, 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 now. Hey, didn't hit the floor. Don't count. Don't hit the floor. Five second rule. God damn this. <laughs> it's time to redo the brass hammer. It's chipping off and falling apart. I think it's had its day. It's done, had its day. Did a lot of work for that old sir. Gave it a good old American attempt anyway. Straighten it up. I'm not exactly happy with it, but it is what it is with the cheese. Alright, we'll let this sucker cool a minute. We'll flip around and start working on the bleed. <laughs> Feels like there's an elephant on the end of it. Holy cow. Man, I need to move it. It's still okay to touch there. That's, the, that's about the center of gravity. Oh boy. Well, it's a chopper. It's supposed to be a little front heavy. I really belong up here though. 
I really, 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 really do. Oh, man, it is what it is. There's a lot of steel there. This is going to be a big, beefy knife. I wonder if I should roll that down. I think I should roll that. That, um... I think I need to fiddle whatever I'm fiddling up to this next notch is actually what I need to do. Back here, it's just way too heavy, and it's only going to get worse. It's going to get a little longer. Okie dokie. Don't you love it? Hey, we're only an hour and a half into it. It's not bad for an hour and a half, right? A little grind time, and we could actually hand it to the judges. Well, I used to be a software engineer, but I'm actually an industrial engineer, and rework is something us industrial engineers are paid a lot of money. Yeah, we're paid money. To prevent. Look at what Chandler's been up to. Alright, don't mess up the one the fiddle we got. A little bit of a hump in there. I don't know if I got unwind a little or not. Seems like I should, huh? Gosh, I don't want to. And I don't think I can get her. Maybe in the vice I can sneak into that corner. I don't need a lot. It isn't critical. That did it. <coughs> did enough for this monkey with a hammer. If you don't remember where we are on this project, we're still fiddling with the fiddle. That's the way to cook the crumble sometimes. Sometimes that's the way to cook the crumbles. Get a little tighter there if you can. cleaned up, but at that point now, I'm where I want to be. What do you think? Does it look? Yeah, hell, it looks fine. If it had been squared and twisted and rolled like a ram's horn, oh mama, we would have been in business. Okay. How are we for straightness? We are as straight as a 90-year-old heterosexual. heterosexual. It's, it's really cool. That feels so much better. That was a, definitely a good move. If I just take a little bit of this, which I'll end up taking out when I grind, it'll fit that finger perfectly. Everybody will be happy, happy, happy. Oh, yep, that feels really good, except for that one bite right there. So there's a lot of different designs that I've seen of Cooper's. I like that flatter back rather than that curved back. I'm going to do my best to try to do that. Just get her back so she's flat. I got so much steel here. Holy cow. What the heck am I going to do with it? Of course, that's going to all change. I'll leave a little curve in there because it's going to change when I, when, I, uh, when I start drawing out the blade here. But, man. I got a hell of a bevel on this. up here a little bit. It's gonna be, a, what is that, a quarter inch on the spine? it will be one nasty but And then I'm just gonna clean up this edge. You see I got a bit of a cup in here. It needs to come out. We were moving a lot of steel in a little bit of time back then. That a tall ain't that a tall. Man, I don't know if I've ever started a knife that thick. 
So we're going to come back a little farther, about to here, and then start turning that blade. Alrighty, let's keep working as long as we can hold on to it anyway. save myself as much grinding as possible. Right, let's see about bringing that front blade back just a little bit. Right about there. I don't like it. It's good. I'm trying to get this angle in here, you know what I mean? I kind of like how that angle looks. It puts the personality I was going for anyway into it. So I want to maintain that best I can. That looks nice. Very, very nice. like some of you guys and gals. So I'd like to clean this part of the blade up here a little bit more if I can but I'm running out of handle glue. Let's do it. I'm going to clean up in here and we'll start putting a, a bit of a taper on this thing. It's going to be aggressive. I don't want to just grind it because it's not fun but uh, I think in the end I'm going to wish that I had. Clean this up back here. step right there wouldn't hurt. One more time, one more time. Let's see if we can call it cleaned up in the back here after this one. I hope so. Man, this whole thing's about ready to explode. Come on, let's give me a few more minutes. That looks really nice. Where'd my tongue go? No, 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 no. No, no, no. First time on the floor today. <laughs> I don't got tongue to pick it up. Like the sun's up, bitches. Back to the heat we go for that one. Thanks, guys. I was done too. Some bitch. That's enough for what we're trying to do anyway. Gonna keep it on the table. Every swing now, a piece of grass goes flying. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Let's straighten her up. Boy, I wish I just went to the grinder now and didn't worry about trying to do a bevel. <laughs> Got a little whoop you do here in the back I'm not happy with, but I guess that's the way it's going to stay. I guess that's the way it's going to stay. I've done put enough into this one so far. Alrighty. 
Right, let's work on a bevel. I know I'm not going as hot, but I really don't want that spine to move much, so I'm trying to really work the edge of the only if I can in the heat. see the bevel on that side. I can barely see it on this side. It means I'm holding it at the wrong angle. So when I'm hammering like this, I'm hammering. I know you guys yell at me for doing that, but that's what I like to do. I like to, it's, a good, it's a good proof and test of hammer control for sure. I like to hold it at an angle matching the uh, the opposite. When I hold it this way, I'm obviously holding it too flat because I'm, I'm flattening out that that uh, that bevel so I gotta hold it at a steeper steeper angle on that side Let's see if we can demonstrate what I mean so I gotta go a little steeper and it's odd you know an ambidextrous smith switching hands is probably the only way to definitely have control like that Much better. Much better, and you know, I think that's been enough for this old guy. Just get things straightened up here while we have some heat. sway in there I don't like. I'm not even looking at the blade yet. Now we're not too unhappy. The blade's not bad. Getting to the point where it's too cold to move. But for a blind man, let's see we're doing alright. That looks good, that looks good. Alright, now we'll do this second belt. We having fun yet? second part of the blade. This one should be more of a taper. I don't know what that's going to do to the whole blade. The blade is full. But I want this back, at least I do anyway. I want it sharpened, like a whittling carving. A little different bevel. Kind of 
give myself a bit of a step there too if I had a handle with an edge on that. Let me see where I'm going. I'm going to be done with the forging part of this knife here pretty soon. clearly and this one I can't see I mean it's there it's in the same spot and everything I just just can't see I'm gonna heat it up one more time and try to even that out straighten her up and let the forge take a nap man where did I put it hey let's take some time and heat your piece up and then get where you put the damn for a brush you know Alright, so I think I'm actually here. What the problem is? Seems to be on one side. It's almost like a, I mean, not near, not a, not a chisel, but you get the idea of what I'm talking about. And I must be doing something crazily wrong to make that happen. First, before you pull the piece out, let's see what the hell we got going on here. That's too much of an angle. Much of an end. What I was holding that. Not exactly happy, happy, but it'll be the trick. It's full show. Let's get everything straight as we can. Because the grinder will not like it if it ain't. Fat enough. The point there, but right there we got a fat spot. So, Alright. Good enough for TV anyway. My transition here is ugly, but uh, I'm okay leaving a little extra meat there because I don't know how to do this grind. with that I think. Gosh, I just can't you can tell. That looks better. I'm gonna heat it up. I got a bit of a wonk in there and I don't want to leave it there. But I don't trust that it. it's cold enough there. It's a big knife. Oh, that's a knife. Get this really wonk out of here. a little better. Yeah, the spine looks good with about the blade. I don't know what we want to go on here. There we go. That's it. Now do I have enough of an angle on there, you think? To be kukri-ish? I think I do, don't I? Let's get up quick. Jeez, I almost want to put some more angle on that. Jeez Louise, what would that do to the world? Wow, that would be... I'm doing it. 
don't like it. I got a lot of time into it. I'm gonna have a lot more time into it when I'm done. Oh, dude, too late to make a choice like this. But I told you, when I put that bevel in, it's gonna mess that back up. And by God, that timber was right. Live in there. That melts. See, forge out the knife, get everything straight and lined up, spend an hour doing that, and then totally change the shape of it. Hey, you dumbass. I just want it down a little bit more. Come on, you can do it. I got the meat to play with here, so I'm okay with that. Right there on the blade anyway. And we'll all be glad that I did when we get done. We will all be, oh yeah, that looks so much better, Chandler. Good choice. I'm glad you did it. It's crazy. So now, where does that leave the whole freak tonight? Willy Wonka again. But I shouldn't like that angle much better. So we'll take the time. It's just like quenching, guys. You pull that knife out of the quench and there's a warp on it. Yeah, it depends on where you are in temperature. You may be able to get over to the vise quick enough and put a straightening on it. Or whatever it is that you choose to do. But sometimes you just have to say, nope, let's do it again. Same thing, when you get done hardening your blade, all that work, rough grinding, all that part done. You're looking at it, it's like, damn, alrighty. Let's put a handle on it, and you realize you forgot to drill it. There's tricks that might help you do that, but put it back in the fire. Put it back in the fire because you're just going to fight yourself. Alright, for a blind man, I think I'm okay with that. It's much more of a curve on it now. It's to me more a kukari. <laughs> So we're going to throw this in the fire a few times and normalize it. And, uh, and that's all we're going to have for part one. I'm going to do something I've never done before. Usually when I do a project, I like it to be a one day project if I can. This one's not going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and make part two, the grinding and hardening and that kind of stuff. This is the forging of a kukri. I think it looks like a kukri. I think I did okay considering We started with that. We only used, what, this much of it? All right, started with a lawnmower blade. Testing it shows that it, the steel's gonna be tough. Whether or not it holds an edge, we're gonna find out. Um, but uh, like I said, I've never done this before. I'm gonna go ahead and post this video tonight before the knife's ever done. So neither one of us, you nor I, know if this thing's gonna turn out or not. How do you like them apples? Hopefully tomorrow, barring any crazy catastrophes or super sexy ladies asking me to spend time with them. You got my phone number? Um, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll finish this thing up and I'll bring you along with me. So, you all have a good night, day, wherever, whatever. And that's how Chandler forged a kukri. And there is a part two of how Chandler finished the kukri. Because I don't want to rush it. I want this to kind of be pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't really have a big need for a cookery. I don't think my pocket's deep enough for this one. Let's see how big it is. Hold on, I'll be back. Of course, we're not ground yet, eh? but we're 18 inches nose to tip. We got 8 inches. Yeah, 8 inches on the large blade and 4 inches on the small blade. And that's a big neck. Will not fit in my pocket. Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Uh, I'm giving you a to be continued. This thing's gonna normalize. I'll catch you tomorrow. Ciao. He's damn honest. <laughs> I feel guilty. The reason I'm cutting out early, by the way, we spent two hours. Two hours and three minutes so far for that blade. Um, is because somebody dropped me off a bucket of material and I'm going home to pan it. So I'm being selfish. I'm sorry, don't hate me too much. But I felt guilty, like making it sound like I had to stop. I don't have to stop. Maybe I do. Ciao.
If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.